We need to have a digital organizing committee. This is Gene Lance. And somehow or another, I've already screwed this up. This is Gene Lance. What I want to do is form a digital organizing committee in North Texas. It would be amateurs, even though there are professional digital organizers. One of them is at the Texas AFLCO. Uh, his name is Mark Maldonado, and that's where I got this idea. Just first of all, I was trying to think what our goals should be, and of course, you're welcome to say what your goals are, but I thought the, that the, these were good goals. Uh, and coordinating activities is possibly a little bit beyond us, but uh, educating and activating more people to use digital organizing, that's one we can do. In fact, there are a whole lot of things that we could do, uh, like, and I think uh, this is probably the, the most attractive one, is build up our meetings. Uh, who doesn't have uh, regular organizational meetings that don't have enough attendance? We could, we could build up attendance at our meetings just by uh, doing the digital invitations and stuff. And then all the stuff that, that you see uh, on the internet that people are asking you to do, like sign a petition or something like that, all of those things are within the capabilities of us. We could be doing that. And notice that I put at the bottom there that we need to know how to evaluate our own performance. Uh, actually, I don't have any idea how to do that, but uh, it needs to be we need to be able to evaluate so that we can continuously improve this is a, a work in process idea and I, I don't see any point in our having physical meetings since we're all going to be online people we may as well just have online meetings and uh, online meetings are cheap and easy this particular service free free conference call com has been around a long long time it was just a telephone service for a long time but now it's a full-fledged webinar service and it's still free you can't ignore websites because that's where you put the information that's just going to stay there it's not going to just pass by on somebody's screen it's going to stay there people can find it so uh, the main uh, websites that I use are the Dallas AFLCO and the Texas Alliance for Retired Americans I have access to both of those now, Action Network is kind of the premier tool. Uh, you can get a free cop, you can get it for free, but uh, it costs as you get more on people on your list. It, it starts to cost, and there's there's some training involved in this. It's not something you can just walk up and do. This is the the uh, tool that is used to you know have online petitions and call your congressman and send a letter to your congressman all those things. You simply can't get around the fact that uh, social media is what's moving the world today. And it's mostly Facebook and Twitter, but there's a bunch of other ones. And one, another one that we probably all need to learn is uh, SurveyMonkey, which costs a little bit. Uh, the free version will do a few things, but you have to pay for it if you want to get a good, if you want to be able to do much, uh, much by the way of finding out information online. We're fortunate in Texas that we have Ed Sills, and you should get on Ed Sills' list. It's ed at texasaflco.org. And uh, the, Ed has uh, it's almost daily news service that every union activist in the state reads. Uh, I have a radio show on, Sunday, on Saturdays at 9 o'clock. Uh, every Saturday it reaches thousands of people, so that's, that's a tool that we can use. There's a tool called Remind 101 that will allow people to uh, text up to 500 people, and it's free. Uh, and Labor Action Network, of course, is a telephoning service that unions use for phone banking. But that's available, uh, you know, by permission. Now, I did not uh, ask Max Karkamal if I could use his picture or anything. I just used it because I thought it was a good picture, and he's a good example of a good speaker. We could, uh, and I think we should, first thing, start up a speaker's bureau or a series of speaker's bureaus in which we would get some uh, knowledgeable people who are good speakers 
and uh, get a little biographical information and a little bit of information about their availability and then uh, promote them online. Uh, line up some, some college classes or some high school classes or some uh, other unions uh, or some retiree groups or some social groups and see if we can't uh, kind of get the word out on the progressive movement. I mean, you know, when you think about it, everything comes from the bosses. They either wrote or they approved of virtually everything that anybody hears ever. So if we had a speakers bureau, uh, then we'd get our side out a little bit. So I'm just encouraging people to sign up. You don't have to know anything. In fact, if you don't know anything at all about uh, internet stuff, but you do know something about organizing, you might be the best people because this is all about organizing. Digital organizing is not a complete thing into itself. It can only be a help and a supplement to real organizing, which is face-to-face. -face. So if you want to sign up, you can, uh, you can get on my form, which is the last line on this slide, or just get on my, web, my uh, Facebook page, Gene Lance, and uh, there's a picture there that you, can take a, that you can click and sign up for the form. Or just get in touch with me, genelance.org, or uh, my Facebook, Gene Lance. And anyway, uh, let's start doing it. I'm looking at Sunday nights at 7 and start doing it every week. And uh, I invite you to join in, and let's see, just, just see how much we can do.